Hello and welcome to another Maxi Shine video. Finally, we're going to have a look at the EVGA classified SR2. Now, the first thing about this motherboard that you'll notice straight away is the size. <coughs> what we have here is a motherboard box. Now, behind it, you can see two 30 inch screens. Um, that nearly rivals it in size. Check that out. That's unbelievable. I got so excited when I saw this. Even the guys at the counter at Scorp Tech were saying that's, that's crazy. Now, just to give you a quick comparison size, that's the EVGA classified original motherboard. Look at that. That's amazing. Can't wait to open this up and uh, check out what's inside. Thing up. I haven't been excited about a part in a long time. Of course, we're going to be running dual 6 core Xeons on this. Uh, 12 gig of Dominator memory. And we're going to be running four GDX 480s. And hopefully, as soon as the, um, or if they do have a GDX 490 revision, we'll be running them in four way SLI. Check that out. That is massive. That is massive. That is unbelievable. Wow. This is amazing. I don't believe how big things are getting. It's ridiculous. All right, I'm sure that's all the accessories. The little E cut out there, isn't that awesome? All right. Let's have a look at what we get inside. Check out the accessories. I'm going to try not damage it. I know I'm excited. Oh, I'm sure I put these out. Sometimes you just want to tear it apart with your teeth if you can, just to quickly see what's inside. Alright. Oh wow, look at that. Four-way SLI. Three-way SLI. And SLI. Connectors. The IO shield there. Don't know what that is yet. Oh my god. Wow. Comes with um, all the SATA connections. I'm not going to be running that many. All your adapters and your um, floppy. Well, I don't know if it's a floppy. Cable. In there. USB. Four port USB. And that looks to be. Let's have a look at what that is. Oh my god, that's a good sticky tape, mate. Little plates that we will find out what they're for a little later on. Little pretty heavy plates there. And your 3M little tidy things for cabling. Get rid of that. Now, this is what we've all been waiting for. Apparently only a hundred of these have been imported into Australia. Oh, <laughs> it's the Godzilla of motherboards. That is the Godzilla of motherboards. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, that is humongous. That is humongous. that I have never ever witnessed anything like this in my life that is huge obviously be sitting like that in your case now that is a masterpiece check that out Whew. that is crazy that is amazing check that out just um truly amazing look at that that is absolute craziness. That is overboard. I can't wait to get this thing together. Still waiting on a few parts. I'm so disappointed in Australia. It takes so long just to get things. This was delayed like three times. Now just check this out side by side. The um, classified <coughs> and the SR2. You see that is a massive difference. And as you guys know, the um, classified is a big motherboard. I've lined these up the top. 
see there it's a good two or three inches difference just in height and the width is a massive difference it's like four inches here it's 11 inches this is over 15 inches on the left again here just check out the width you can see here this is the back of the um, motherboard just lining them up check that out that's unbelievable I still don't know if 100% if this fits in my case but according to the EVJ website it does it's one of two cases that they do have support for it not all the screw holes are there obviously it's going to be so long but I'm sure, I'm sure it'll fit and I'm sure I can do something I'm just here starting from the right how simple the EVJ classified looks compared to the SR2 it's just ridiculous I mean, that's what we love about it just how insane it is ok just another quick look at another angle just to see the difference anyone willing to give this motherboard a shot you can see there I've got the other side lined up as you can see let's have a look let's line that up ok there's a massive difference You can see here, I'll just put a ruler just to give you an idea. The difference, four and a half inches, or over four and a half inches difference in the motherboards. So you'd need a pretty big case, a lot of room. Another small problem I came across is the um, holes where you normally pass your nuts and bolts through to lock down the water block. As you can see on the SR2, they've got already these, um, they've got a back plate with uh, threads coming through and it's pretty hard to remove that sticker on the other side. So you might have to actually find screws to fit this. Now obviously um, this is not designed, the um, Armsuit P80 is not designed for this kind of motherboard. I've had to pre-drill one, two, three, four extra holes to accommodate for the size. It's pretty easy. Just get a pretty small drill bit, go through it. Just keep getting bigger and bigger and you can you can put the um, screws into the nut and then with the screwdriver you can just make your own threads. Pretty easy to do. We'll go ahead and see if that lines up now. And there you have it guys. That's the motherboard tray with the EVGA SR2 on it and hopefully that should fit with no problems go ahead and power that up just quickly <laughs> that's the motherboard tray on the armor suit look at that look how much it comes out let's have a close look at that that's unbelievable obviously not designed for something like this but still manages to get it in without any major mods just drilling some new holes to mount it and that's about it luckily the solder part the solder plugs here um, come outwards rather than this way then because you already got no room this is going to be basically touching inside the armor suit and there you have it guys tested installed tested as in it does fit in a armor suit case you can see there no major mods like I said all I did is drill a few extra holes it is running over the edge here about a few inches that's um, pretty solid sitting in there and that just looks amazing. With a case like this, you always want to you want to fill it up before coming short about here. It looks a bit empty. I'm sure when I put the four GDX 480s, it's going to look pretty good. That is exciting stuff. Can't wait. I'm still waiting for a few parts. So it's not going to be complete this build. This is just stage one. So stay tuned. We're going to be going as extreme as possible with this um, PC. Let's just have a look there. There you go, you can see there all the expansion slots, more than enough, actually just enough, they, they ask for 10, and you can see there all the way to the edge, let's just angle that, so you can see how much gap we have, there you go, about an inch, you can see just in there, crazy stuff eh, uh, if you want some high res pics, check them out on the Maxi Shine forum or the website.